literally forged from Thor's hammer. Cue the intro. Guys, this is the legendary Honda Valkyrie Rune. Now there's somewhat of a debate of how many they actually made. Honda says they made somewhere around 1,500. Although when you start diving into it, some people say less, some people say a little bit more. I don't know. I do know that this is number 47 in the run, that Jay Leno owns number one, and that uh, Sean from SRK Cycles owns number 39. Now you look at a bike like this and you think, there's no, it's, it's all looks, it's all just, it's all fashion. That's not true, this thing runs awesome. Let's take a look at the front end. The front end is probably the biggest thing you notice. It's kind of like a Springer style front end. Um, some people call, I prefer to call it a telelever front end. I probably call it a, a bottom end trailing link front end. It's beautiful looking. It's awesome. There's no fork seals to blow. And it really, what kind of, what kind of helps and makes the bike. It also allows you to put a whole lot more chrome on the front. When you come over here and look at the headlight, you will realize this is the, uh, the head from the new um, Lost in Space robot. Just 100%, that's their head. They cut, all, they cut it off on the front of a room and they stuck it on a robot. So the, uh, the drivetrain power plant of this is from, is a cleaned up, prettier looking version of the Honda Goldwing. So this is the 1800cc, 118 horsepower, 123 foot-pounds of torque, boxer, six cylinder engine. The whole bike is weighing in at 811 pounds, which is one pound lighter than a, than a, than a Harley Davidson uh, Road King. So every piece of this bike, every metal chrome piece is just made to flow perfectly with the bike. Every single little piece. It's not like this was taken off of one bike, this was taken off of something else. It was all custom made for the Honda, Honda Rune. And rumor has it that when these things sold for around, I think, I think around 20,000, 20 something thousand dollars, that it actually cost, because they sold so few of them, and because they manufactured so few of them, that it cost them around $100,000 to make each one. You can also see from the beautiful, like trumpeted exhaust that just, you know, you never see that in any other bike. And then also the classic single-sided swing arm that really shows that big old chrome, chrome tire. Now, not all came with chrome wheels. Some of them came with cast wheels, like the other one that we have. Now, when you sit on the bike and look at the ergonomics of it, it's kind of uncruiser isk It's just kind of, I mean, I think it's very comfortable, but you would expect to be out here with just the rake and, and how the bike is. But I'm very comfortable sitting right here. I can ride this bike for a long time. Let's, uh, let's take a first spin. Oh yeah, and the sound. Did I mention the sound? out of this world, check this out. Let's see if the Rune rides as good as it looks. All right guys, before we do the test drive, let's do words of wisdom, Isaiah 12, two. Behold, God is my salvation, I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord. God is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation. Let's fire this beast up. I love the way these bikes sound. Whenever I decide to slow down a little bit and actually put together more of a motorcycle collection, you see, to, to, to really be putting together a collection, you have to not be selling everything. Um, what I have is an inventory. I have a few bikes that are not for sale, but what I have is an inventory to make money. But whenever I decide, like you know, I want to, I want to start putting my, putting together my own personal collection. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come looking for one of these if I don't already have one or two. I love, I love these bikes. It's like nothing. I've I've ridden hundreds of different types of bikes, and nothing feels the way this bike feels. Nothing's even close. Because at in one point it's like, oh, it's a it's a cruiser bike but it's got mid-range control, so you're sitting, you know, it sits very different. You know, it's just more like a, not really like a gold wing, because a gold wing could be sitting a lot taller. It's such a huge bike, the thing's over eight feet long. So in a way, when you're sitting down, your knees are like this, but you would be expecting your legs to be out like here. 
that's kind of what you would expect and the way the handlebars come out at you it really feels like a like a speeder from Star Wars like this is the closest thing even in the sound that this is the closest thing I might ever get to riding an actual speeder from Star Wars you don't know, ride to the woods I probably wouldn't ride this thing to the woods but at 6302 miles and that's pretty normal a lot of times you see hundred rooms but you know around five six thousand miles I mean of course they do way more there's tons of them out there with 80, 90, 100,000 miles. Guys who just love riding these bikes and they don't they don't care about what it does to the value. They just they genuinely just they enjoy it. And I can see that. It's not like one of those bikes that that just looks good like a chopper and does not ride good. This is made by Honda, guys. And this thing rides as good as it looks. Some people don't like the style. Those people are crazy. Even if the style was, even if I didn't like the style, the way it rides would make me fall in love with the bike. Like no, no doubt. There's been a lot of bikes like that, that I'm like, oh, it's weird looking. And then I jump on and I ride it and I was like, oh my, this is the best thing ever. Uh, case in point would be like the, uh, the, the Kawasaki Versus was one of those bikes. I just never liked the way they looked. The way this thing with that big 1800 six cylinder boxer engine, the way this thing just effortlessly pulls you into oblivion when you pull that throttle. I love it. The fact that everything on here is chrome and it's not like chrome, plastic, chrome, plastic, you know what I mean? It just, it's all one unity piece. Everything was fit, everything was made, not just in a vacuum, but made to connect with everything else. This is one of those timeless machines that when you see it, you know, when you see it 20 years later, 30 years later, 40 years later, you'd be like, when did they make that? Because honestly, they could, they could, you could put this thing brand new on a floor right now and there's nothing about it is gonna look dated. People be like, oh, the 2021 Honda Rune looks amazing. Nothing about it. If you, if you compare this to what other bikes were coming out in 2004, this thing came, this thing came from the future. With styling from like the past, you know what I mean? Like the 30s and the 40s and the 20s. If you notice, uh, Netflix did a series um, of a remake, Lost in Space. And the robot's head looks just like the headlight of the Honda Rune. Coincidence? Yeah, probably. The gearbox feels very uh, Goldwing. It just effortlessly pops in the gear every single time. Neutral's easy to find. The hydraulic clutch. I mean, you feel like you're driving a, uh, a Honda Rebel. It's just... Honestly, it might be lighter than a Rebel's clutch. Just no effort on your part. When it comes to twisting the throttle, same thing. It's got a little bit of resistance, but nothing like, a, it's not like a BMW, it's not like a K-Bike, where it has you know a lot of resistance. Um, very, very effortlessly. You can just kind of pull your wrist, you know, kind of lean a little bit of weight on your, uh, on your wrist and it goes. Let's see what we can get on this here to 60. Now I'm gonna take it easy in the launch because it's a big, big bike. There. All right, I kind of just took it easy the whole way through. I'm not sure if at any moment I was floored. Floored, if I was, I'm not sure if at any moment I was fully twisted back, but I was close. I was probably about 80%, but, um, that got there pretty quick. Now, when it comes to cruising on the highway, the Rune is the bike. I mean, you're cruising the speed limit. Now, I would never put highway pegs on here unless I could do them without scratching up that chrome, but it would be kind of cool. But I think this, uh, the ergonomics of the sitting are very comfortable. But this thing just cruises down the road and anything past, anything faster than like 75, all you hear is the wind. But then as soon as you get on it, and you start going the speed limit, 
you start to wake that beast up. But it's, it's not a loud engine. It's not a loud engine, and I like that. It's very, it's a very quiet. If you were kind of, if you were trying to sneak around, you know, weave through traffic and and sneak around, this is a perfect, perfect bike for that. And this bike feels very. I, I have not ridden another bike other than maybe a um, what is that? A uh, like a Ducati Diablo or something that felt as comfortable as stable at higher than highway speeds on a uh, on a closed course. Part of where you're getting that stability is one from the giant wheelbase. I'm not sure if I've ridden a bike that had a bigger wheelbase than this. Guys, that wraps up the legendary test drive of the Honda Rune. These things are awesome. They really do. They, they, they don't disappoint. Ask anyone who's ever ridden one. It's really hard to have any faults with this bike. There's not that many of them out there. And if you guys want to see the video that I made, um, just talking about the history of this bike, there's a lot of history and it's really cool. It was a really cool story. Uh, check that out in the, uh, in, in the link next. It was just a it was a it was a fun a fun story about how they how they came up with the concept this is basically a concept bike that actually somehow made it somehow it was, someone made a mistake and they're like oh we're making it holy cow all right guys if you are uh if you're looking for your next pair of gloves we manufacture the baddest gloves out there these are the m1 moto gloves this is the 507s we also have the 508s and check them out i think it's the first link in the description we will see you guys later. Remember, it is not what you're riding, but where you're going. Hey guys, thanks for watching that Rune video. If you guys want to see another video, actually the collab with the guys, uh, with Ed from VinWiki, um, click on the link below. I tell a really interesting story about uh, something strange that happened to me when I was younger involving a Bronco. It's a mystery I still have not solved, but I have some ideas about it. Go check that video out with the Bronco on the VinWiki channel. Click on the link below. We'll see you guys later.